How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get an athletic body for skinny guys. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. So to obtain an athletic body, we don't want to be too bulky and we don't want to be too skinny either. What you need to do is try to build as much muscle as possible, but at the same time trying to stay as lean as possible. Most athletic bodies stay around 10% body fat. I recommend that you bulk to at least 12% body fat, then cut to 8% and just keep doing this over and over again. You never want to gain too much fat and you don't want to become too lean either. Now for people wondering, well, how do I tell what 8% body fat is and 12% body fat? It's very easy. Just Google body fat percentage pictures and it will show you the different percentages and what guys and girls look at look like at each percentage you guys now for the next two points we will talk about diet and exercise both of these will have to really concentrate on if you want to see results for the exercise i recommend that you guys get on a strength training program again we want an athletic body so we want to train with compound movements in the lower rep ranges by training with compound movements we will be a lot more athletic as well you could also train with isolation exercises or you can use machines, but it won't make you as athletic. Compound movements are the best way to achieving this body type as for overall mobility, just overall strength and just conditioning and moving around. Training with compound movements is more athletic. Isolation movements is more bodybuilding training, building muscle, you guys. So it all depends on what your goal is. For diet, our goal is to stay lean and slowly bulk while adding muscle. To do this, we need at least one gram per pound of body weight. I also recommend getting at least 0.5 grams per pound of body weight for fat and just filling the rest in with your carbohydrates. Now, I recommend that most of your calories come from healthy foods, but to maintain saneness, you can also incorporate, a, if it fits your macros, a style of approach where you can incorporate a few cheat foods to hit your macro goal for the day. Macros are just protein, carbs, and fats for anyone wondering. I will also... Um, tell you guys right now that the best way to do this is for consistency. You got to be consistent when doing this. If you're trying to do it for two to three weeks, you're not going to see results. But if you make it a complete lifestyle change where you're really committed to doing this and that you're dedicating your life to doing it, dedicating changing your life to becoming more athletic, getting an athletic body, you're going to see results, you guys. So end of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate your support. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.